Hey, welcome to another video. If this is the first time you're joining us at the Investing and Entrepreneurship channel, welcome. Here in this channel, we, talk, we cover topics of investing in the public markets, like the stock market, but also investing in yourself, in your own small business. And we also talk about topics related to small business development and creating small businesses or businesses that you can sell, create, build equity, create cash flow, ultimately live a better life through your investment and through your business activities. But today I'm going to be talking about this company called Nikla. Why am I talking about Nikla? Okay, because in this channel, we follow the electric trucking sector or better said, the electrification of the trucking sector. Why? Because there's a big push for ESG initiatives to reduce fossil fuels consumption. So basically the government, not only of the United States or some state governments like California, but also governments around the world are collectively putting up an effort to reduce the amount of emissions generated from the transportation industry. So all these big semi trucks that you see on the road driving your freight or driving these big trucks. So everything that we touch, that we materially physically touch, everything moves through these big trucks. So the footprint and the amount of carbon emissions that they put out there is huge. So in this channel, we follow that sector, we follow investing in that sector. And some of my favorite place is Hylion and a couple of other players. But today I'm covering Nikola. Why? I don't really invest in Nikola anymore because when this company launched, it had a PR fiasco. Basically the CEO got caught doing fraud, promoting a product, their Trev truck, basically their battery electric truck, as if it worked and it didn't even work. So back two years ago, I sold out of it. I completely stopped covering it. I completely stopped following it. But lately, because I've been doing more research as into the industry and because I'm following one of my favorite plays, which is Hylion, very closely, and I wanna see what is Hylion not doing that it should do. What is Nikola doing that has so many people so in love with it, that defend it so fanatically, okay? So I started following it, I started looking into it, and I found this presentation, which is their big presentation on creating change and showing the Hyla brand, which is gonna be their brand of hydrogen, basically like their hydrogen station. Just like we go to gas stations, they're gonna have hydrogen stations to power these electric vehicles that some are gonna be full BV that you plug them in and you charge them electrically, and some are gonna be hydrogen based. So you fill them up with hydrogen and off they go. Now. What's the big deal with battery electric trucks right now? Well, their range is really limited, it's short range. So it's not practical to go in the long range transportation. So players like Nikola and like Tesla, they're betting on the last mile delivery or short range delivery. So for the city of LA, for California, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be monumental because California a lot of their transportation is last mile or short haul transportation. Basically, distances that are less than 100 miles round trip. So for that reason, companies like Nikola with their Trev truck and Tesla with their full battery electric plug-in truck, they have a good uh, solution for pulling cargo out of the ports, for taking the big metal containers out from where they get taken off the ship and taking them to their first destination, which is usually 
warehouses where they're going to take all that load out and they're going to consolidate it into bigger loads so they can fit it into the 53 footer trucks which is basically the big big trailers that you see on the road and you know they send it long distance so for that reason this solution is really good now i started following this company recently because i seen that they've come a long way a long long way not only have they managed to build their manufacturing plants but they're manufacturing here in the united states and in germany so they have the european market and the american market but they also already started producing trucks and they've gotten the trucks out there and their trucks are working they're already delivering cargo they're already moving cargo so to me it means that they've come a long way now do I recommend or would I invest in this company right now? No, I would not. Why? Because all these companies have been on a, on a heavy downturn. They've been downgraded by analysts like Goldman Sachs. They're basically betting. Analysts are basically betting for these companies to fail. So these companies have gone, for example, Nikola from being around $80 a share all the way down to 80 cents a share. So it's hard to tell if this company is going to make it, it's going to go bankrupt or not. To me personally, I do see a high possibility for it to go bankrupt, for it to file Chapter 11, but it's not the end of it. This company is barely getting started. If this company were to go bankrupt and file Chapter 11 bankruptcy, I would invest right at the initial offerings post that bankruptcy. So basically, as soon as it comes back into the market after the bankruptcy, that's when I would start investing in this company, especially a, as soon as it's able to get back on the NASDAQ or, or uh, not be over the counter. So that's how I would play it. But why am I following it? Because following it, it gives me a lot of news. It gives me a lot of data to see how the sector is playing out. Now, the difference between investing in Nikola versus investing in Hylion for me personally is that for me, Hylion is a long-term play. This is a company that doesn't burn cash so excessively. Hylion is a company that it has a lot of cash on their books. It's also a company that's not heavy in manufacturing. It's more focused on partnering with existing OEMs like uh, Packer and like Daimler, which built the Freightliners, and Packard built the Peterbilt and the Kenwards. So it's more focused on partnering with these existing companies to just modify their existing product or their new products and add electric components that basically make it non-carbon emissions or emitters, or they allow them to use renewable uh, sources of energy like renewable natural gas. It's also working on its fuel cell. It's also working on its carnal generator, which is an agnostic uh, fuel type of machine that could use different types of fuels to power and produce electricity. And it even has a hybrid version. So for existing diesels, it has a version that you could uh, add components to electrify them and that way increase the power, reduce emissions and get a whole lot more out of the existing trucks. So for that reason, that it's very well leveraged and has a very good business plan, Hylion does, is that I'm investing in it long term. Now, a play like Nikola for me, it would be a short term investment. It would be more of a swing trade investment. It would be more of an investment focused on catching lows and selling highs. Why? Because the way this company set up, Nikola, is set up to burn cash. If you hear the presentation, if you hear the CEO talk, it basically sounds like they're selling you a multi-level marketing product or a multi-level marketing subscription. You know, it's very, their marketing is very well engineered. Their PR is very well engineered and their message is tailored to hit all those interest notes and very cleverly, very cleverly uh, minimize or downplay the amount of risk that there's in the company. This company is excessively risky. Even the CEO himself 
has already declared that the way that they are doing their projections for manufacturing is they only project 12 months out at a cash burn rate of $100 million. Not only did it already burn all the cash that it had raised and hasn't really even gotten the truck to sell very well yet, but it already did another $100 million raise at $1.20. And even raising that much money didn't keep the stock from dropping all the way to about 80 cents. So as you can see, this company is burning cash like crazy. So that's why I wouldn't put my hard earned money to sit there because they're going to go through it. They're going to burn it and they're basically going to say, hey, it's the cost. It's part of the cost to electrify the sector. It is going to be more expensive to electrify the sector. And we're just going to spend as much money as we need to spend in order to make it work. That's why me personally, I wouldn't invest in Nikola. But the future of this company does look very interesting. At some point, Nikola is going to make a good investment. It's going to make a good return on investment. It might be far off. By that time, Hylian might really be taking off already but I am going to be monitoring this company and I am going to look at it closely and I now have bought my first share of stock again because remember I had it I made money on it then I sold that stock then I bought a little more stock then I lost money on it because Trevor Milton basically committed fraud and it made the company tank so after that, I didn't follow this company anymore until now, April 2023. Anyways, uh, this was my short review of Nikola. I am going to start initiating coverage on it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe, comment, share, and drop elaborate comments. I do respond to the comments and uh my purpose with the comments is creating a discussion so that ultimately people can find valuable information that could help others that are new to the retail investor journey and find information that helps them make valuable investment decisions i'm not a financial analyst or a financial consultant or financial advisor i do not provide financial advice everything that i talk about here at investing in entrepreneurship is educational and we also try to do it entertaining this particular video had no jokes had no entertainment value it was just meant to be conversation piece and educational but please watch some of the other videos where you might find some humor and you might have a good time anyways please check out our community section we have interesting surveys or votes going on right there and welcome to the people that have already been watching and following, welcome. Stay tuned for the journey, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.